Hi everyone, it's Camille and today we are going to get pops up running so we can broadcast trade events to multiple traders and other processes. To follow along, read the description below. Uh, otherwise, to support my channel, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Enjoy! First, let's look at the current situation. We started with the Binance streamer calling the send event function on the naive module. The naive module then calls the trader process using the gen server call function. In the last episode, we broken that link by removing the option to register the trader process with a name. We've done that to be able to run multiple traders in parallel. The second issue with that design was the fact that the streamer needs to be aware of all the processes that are interested in the stream data and explicitly push that information to them. To fix those issues, we will invert the design and introduce a pop sub mechanism. The streamer will broadcast into the pop sub and whoever is interested can subscribe to the channel and it will receive the broadcasted messages. There is no coupling between the streamer and the naive strategy anymore. We can now introduce multiple traders that will subscribe to the channel and will receive messages from the pop sub. Going even further down the line we can picture that in the future system will consist of multiple processes interested in the streamed data. Example of those could be a process that will save all the streamed information into the data base to be utilized in the future for backtesting purposes. First let's start with mix format to catch up on code formatting as we didn't use it in the last episode. We will start by modifying the naive apps mix file. We need to add Phoenix PubSub module into its steps. We need to add the same patch to the streamer apps mix file. Now we can add Phoenix pops up into the children list of the streamer's application module. Here we will use the adapter name option, which normally belongs inside the config, but I couldn't find a way to configure it without using the whole Phoenix. We can now modify the streamer to broadcast a message to pops up instead of using the naive modules function. Inside the trader on init we need to subscribe to the trades pops up channel. Then we need to change all our handle casts to handle info as this is the type of the message that pops up uses. The final change will be to remove the send event function from the knife module as it's not required anymore. Our update is now finished so we can start an IEX session to see how it works. First we will start the streamer process that will broadcast messages to pops up. Next, we will start trading with a single trader. Here I modified the code so it sells with a loss just to make this example quicker. After the initial fetching of symbol information by the leader, the trader will be started and it will make a full cycle a couple times. This shows that all new traders are subscribing to the pub sub and we can continuously trade with this extremely simple broadcasting system.
Thanks for staying tuned till the end. The PubSub mechanism that we developed today will allow us to support multiple traders running in parallel. We will focus on, on that in the next episode. If you want to support those episodes, just don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next episode.